states, two union territories, 5,700 kilometers in two months. Starting from Gujarat, we've traversed the entire coastline of mainland India to highlight the utter exploitation and complete neglect of one of our most valuable resources. Our first major finding, something we've suspected all along, that our oceans, endless and bountiful, are a favorite dumping ground for our industries. This is a beach in Trivandrum that you will not see in any tourism brochure for miles on end. As far as the eye can see, the waters are a filthy reddish brown. The Kerala State Pollution Control Board says every day 6,000 kiloliters of sulfuric acid and ferrous sulfate is dumped in this ocean. The High Court first ordered the company responsible for this waste disposal, the Travancore Titanium Products, or TTP, to set up its treatment plant facility by 2008. The deadline came and went. A so-called final deadline of 31st December 2010 was issued. That too was missed. How many times has the High Court given them a notice and how many deadline and how many times has that deadline been broken? I think this is the third time. Third time the, uh, the High Court has given time up to I think 31 till 2010. The time has expired. In Tutikorin's Mullakambi Beach, in the heart of a protected biosphere reserve, the Gulf of Manar Marine National Park, dead, bleached coral, washed ashore, is a regular sight. In the Sangana Bay, Tutikori Kalali, the Lika Pata Sange, Venmai Nerthil Erikendra, the Pal Pondre, Venmai Nerthil Erikendra, in the Sange, Visatan Mayanal, Sevapaka Mari Erikendra, in the Poladan, in the Pavil Balakuri, Makalakum. For years, the coral reefs of Manar have been used as a dumping ground for the industries of the region. The glittering sands of Tamil Nadu may hold the answer to India's nuclear needs, thorium. There's no respite from rare mineral mining activity here, some legally, a lot of it illegally. Not allowed. Not allowed. Work over, no? No. This area is not allowed. Okay. Company restricted area. For miles on end, the waters off the Tamil Nadu coast are blood red. This is because local fishermen say that the seven companies that mine for rare minerals in the sand dunes on the 80-kilometer long stretch between Tirunelveli and Tutikodin all dump their wastes right here in the ocean. On the 7th of August last year, the MSC Chitra behind me collided with another cargo vessel, causing an oil spill that spread throughout the coastline of Maharashtra. The MSC Chitra ruptured its tank and ran aground. This vessel was carrying over 2,200 tons of fuel oil, 800 of which seeped into the Arabian Sea before the leaks could be plugged two days later. NDTV's Cricket App, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.